Hey guys, today we're going to be opening up the Obsidian Flames ETB. Now, I believe I've opened only one, but it was the... What is it called? What is it called? The Pokemon Center one. These were on sale for like 30 bucks on Best Buy. So let's open this up. It's actually been a long time since I've opened Obsidian Flames. I actually tried to avoid it because it was just a set that I wasn't like too interested. And, uh, because I only opened, I'm pretty sure I only opened one, but because I only opened one, I only got the, what's it called? The promo, one of each, like the regular and the Pokemon Center stamped one. <laughs> and I ended up trading the regular stamped one away. And I was like, dang it, like, I kind of want to put that on a separate binder because the Pokemon Center stamped one is in my, in my promo card binder. And I don't really want to remove that one because all of them are pretty much the promo ones. But one thing I do want to get from this set now is the Pidgey line. So I want Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and the Pidgeot. Which, funny enough, I actually got into Pidgeot like a million times by now. Like, legit, just a million times by now. Uh, and I kept trading it. So, hopefully we can pull one of them. Or hopefully, all of them. I doubt we'll pull all of them, but... And then, what we actually came here for was the... Charmander, look at that. As funny enough, I've seen that some people on the Pokemon Center one have gotten two Pokemon Center stamped one, which is like insane in my opinion. But looks like we only got one in the regular PC, which is fine because that's all we wanted. But yeah, this because the Squirtle and the Bubble Sword finally came out in Stellar Crown, which I do have now, and I have it in the binder. But this is the one that's missing in the middle. Like I said, I didn't want to break the <laughs> the promo binder. And as usual, we get this, this, this. You know, you guys can grab that too if you want. And yeah, I, I never did a weirdly enough, I never did an ETV opening for this set. I'm pretty sure I opened it though, because I got the PC one, but I'm pretty sure that's all I opened was just the PC one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, is it always nine packs? Wait, nine packs actually seems insane. Wait, okay, I'm actually just tripping that. I, 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 I guess I forgot. I, I actually forgot. But nine packs, you know, this set is probably not even worth opening because of how cheap the chase cards are. But I decided, why not? I even got the Terra Charge. Look at that. The matching Terra Charizard. Uh, I already have the Charizard, so it's not something I'm like particularly trying to pull. But not going to say no to that. We got a Reverse Charmander, a Small Lip, and a Hollow Toxtricity. Yeah. I don't regret the Pidgeot only because... The Pidgeot is still pretty cheap. Like, it's not expensive. Um, I, I do kind of regret, like, not having it. Like, at least one. Ooh, look at that! Ice QEX Special <laughs> Illustrationer. I actually forgot this is a Special Illustrationer. This is like a forgotten car that's like a dollar or two, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't remember the price of this, but I'm pretty sure this is like a really cheap car. Actually, I think Kaylee might love this, so I might save this for her and see if she wants it. And a Palafin, but look at that! One pull already. That is pretty cool. Not the Pidgeot, which, yes, the Pidgeot is also a special illustration. That's like the crazy part about this set is that the only card is literally Charizard that's worth like a ton. It's like, it's not even a lot actually. It's only like 40 to 50 bucks if I remember correctly. Um, but that's like the biggest expensive card in this. And the rest is like, oh, look at this Absol. Wait, this Absol actually looks so cool. Dude, I might actually keep this in my full art. I know Kaylee likes Absol too, so we'll see. <laughs> well, my Pfeiffer, I don't know. Maybe she wants this instead. We'll see which. We're going to have to trade off and see which one she wants more. Because I actually do like the Absol. 
And the ice key, I mean, I wouldn't mind putting it in my binder too. And not bad, not bad so far. Not the Pidgeys, Pidgeots. Still get Pidgey. I don't think we're gonna get the Pidgeot anymore. This will be an insane box if we do get the Pidgeot. But let's see what we get here. We got a Digger's B, a Diglett, an Oddish. Ah, oh, Togekiss. All right, all right. It's crazy. The set. From what I understand, though, the pulls are just like pretty easy to get. I think that's from what I understand. It's just, it's a small set. Everything's kind of like, I, I like I said, I got the Pidgeot. I actually got in like two gold charge or just randomly. Um, like I said, I didn't open too much. So the fact that I've opened and got the Pidgeot and the like two gold Charizard, it already says a lot. Uh, I think. When I opened this set, it was, like I said, the, the PC ETB, um, like the, the regular, like three pack, single pack blisters and anything that had like promo pretty much, uh, I opened. So I, I definitely got like the triple pack blisters and stuff like that. Another, another Truckstricity. Um, yeah. And I actually tend to just do that. Um, that's kind of the way I budget myself, unless it's like a set that I really, really want, then I kind of go all out, uh, more on booster box than anything else, but, uh, pretty much every other set that I'm kind of like, whatever about it, sorry, I totally messed that up, but yeah, uh, if it's whatever, then I kind of just, uh, I get, ooh, one Victini EX, I don't think she has that one, I, I think she collects Victinis too, this is like, this, this whole opening is literally just Kaylee. That's what, what, like a charm in there is going to be the only thing I end up with. <laughs> it's, it's fine though. It's fine. I like to help her in her collection. I right, got Malamar, Claude Sire, Grumpig, Spoink, Cryogonal, and Anente. But yeah, every other set I kind of just open the bare minimum. And then like Surging Sparks is coming out very soon. And it's... It's actually crazy. Uh, I'll open it while I tell you guys, but it's actually crazy because I have not opened a booster box since Paldea Evolve. And I was like trying to make sure that was like actually true. And yeah, I didn't open anything. Oh, Larvitar. See, what? Look, I'm telling you, the pools are just like, I have Larvitar. So it's, it's still cool to just open, but... Uh, I already forgot what I was saying, but, uh, oh yeah, Surging Sparks, yeah, we're, I'm definitely going a little harder on that one, I already got a booster box, like I said, I just realized I had never opened Paldea, uh, anything else besides Paldea Evolve, which is kind of like nuts to me that I didn't go hard on any other set, and now I am for Surging Sparks because of that lovely Pikachu, Delicia. What do I, I want the Hydreigon. For Pokemon, that's probably my biggest chase, is the Hydreigon. Really want that card. I don't know if we'll get it. Surging Sparks pre-release this weekend for me. So that's going to be the next video. I think we're going to be hitting like four of them. So it might be like this big pre-release video that's happening. So catch you guys then.